Howdy, I'm Matt and in this video we are going to have an overview to the Sonic HD uh, FBV flying wing uh, and this is the overview before we take her out for a maiden so I'm sure you've probably already seen the unboxing if you've not seen the unboxing yet in the top right hand corner uh, is a link to the unboxing uh, again this is a proven model as, you, as we learned previously it has uh, been come out previously in two, at least two other incarnations uh, and as such uh, it really was a very straightforward build. Now I've got some things which I like about this model and I've got three things which I don't like about this model or at least you should know uh, it, well if you go and buy one you know that when you bring when you go and receive yours. So. First of all, you'll notice that I've been and got her here, and th those of you which know me, I'm not a big fan of stickers, but I got the stickers out, I looked at the photos on the Banggood website, and I thought, that looks pretty cool, and then I stuck the stickers on, and they're decent stickers, they're not like the clear and black stickers like we have with the Reptile S800 V2, they were utter rubbish, uh, these are actually some decent ones, they were actually stuck to the foam, surprise, surprise. Uh, sounds amazing but if you've seen the V2 stickers you know what I mean uh, these stickers have stuck really well they're really really attractive and they would definitely help with orientation because underneath it's just plain white on the top it's got red lines on there so as far as orientation uh, is like for line of sight flying uh, you really won't go wrong uh, one thing and again just not looking at my notes just like trying to give you like as much info as possible I am absolutely amazed by the size of the fuselage which we've got in here uh, I know the battery will need to get planted right up in the nose uh, and the nose does come off and the magnets are absolutely massive but if I just put that up to the camera can you see how big that fuselage is it's absolutely monstrous uh, in here and I want to say a big tip and I've I'm really sorry, I've forgotten the chap's name from the Facebook group. A big thank you for the, the note around the centre of gravity. This model does have CG marks on the bottom. The big tip was to run it slightly nose heavy. Uh, I would do that anyway, but somebody else mentioning, Matt, make sure you run it nose heavy is always a, a good thing. Uh, sorry, I have set the CG mark just slightly forward uh, of the, the, the two points, which in a wing this big is not going to make a huge amount of difference and hopefully it just makes it make sure we have a good maiden in short. Uh, so anyway let's get to my notes here. So uh, the first thing which I really do like is the hinges uh, or the uh, the control horns. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try, you'll have to excuse me, I've got a uh, little zoom tool and I'm going to try and zoom right in uh, and we'll see how this works out and see if I can get this to work show on the camera correctly without me having to come all the way over there. So. There's the top of the servo. Aha! It's one of the times for 30 times zoom. There, the control horn up here. Really good quality one, and it's got the screws in there which go through all the way to the other side. I do like those, and they are worth a point of uh, making the note about them because how many times you get models and they've got absolutely terrible control horns? It's not the case in there. It's the small details which make things. Uh, they did come with a colour manual. Oh, which we do have here, and look, as evidence, we did actually look at the manual, uh, <laughs> just to see what one of the pieces were. Uh, anyway, uh, we did look at the manual, it's a colour manual, uh, all written in English, believe it or not, not Amazeballs English, but English that you can understand. So, for example, after you have successfully installed and bound your radio and receiver, verify that all channels are operating on the con correct controller input and in the correct direction for flight. Proper English, unbelievable, and colour pictures. So yeah, normally don't read the manual, but that one was actually half decent, so happy days on that. Uh, it does come with, I just mentioned this a few moments ago, it does come with CG marks uh, underneath, happy days. So how many models have you received, you've got no idea where the centre of gravity is. Uh, it's really obvious, and what I've been and done on mine, uh, I'll just point this out very quickly, I've just put some little pins uh, some dress pins in the bottom uh, and pin them in so I know the where the centre of gravity is on both sides because I can put my fingers underneath the wing and feel where the centre of gravity should be uh, and whether it's correct or not depending upon the uh, battery uh, placement. Uh, a positive actually is its looks because that is one very aerodynamic looking wing. 
if I turn it around the other way, you'll see what I mean is that that whole fuselage, it reminds me of like uh, something like the X1, uh, but the, and it's been moulded all the way in. It's like an X1, right? The great big round thingy in the fuselage bit in the middle. Uh, it's actually been sculpted in. I do like the look of that wing, so I'm putting that down as a like. Uh, I will go for the setup, what I've got in mind in a moment as well. Uh, the other thing which I do like is that you do get a spare nose cone. So the nose comes off the nose, you do get a spare one. I'll pop that one down there. You do get a dome on the nose. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pull this one off because this kind of ties in nicely to one of the things which I don't like. So I'm going to pop this on the nose. So you'll see that we've now got that clear and I've left a clear film on there. And again, I'll see if I can zoom in again so you can see this. So there you go. So there's the clear dome on the nose. Uh, now it's not actually clear. It's a transparent, uh, like an off-white transparent colour in there. Uh, I don't know whether that's on purpose or what benefit that has, uh, but it's uh, an off-white, it's tinted like a brownie colour. Now let's get, that brings us nicely into the negative points, which is uh, the screws for the, the dome section. Uh, it came with two tiny little screws, which I'm sure wouldn't have lasted five minutes. So what I've been and done on mine is it the four points which you got pretty and once you see this little well, fact I'll zoom in so you can you can see it uh, on the cone section here you'll see that there's a wooden piece all the way around the actual inside that's what that's been screwed to is that what I've been and done is put four screws and they're just servo screws you know the little silver ones which you normally just throw away or stick in a bag to be counted for a giveaway or something like that uh, I've just Put those. Uh, I'd had to drill out the two side holes with just a little 1.5 millimeter uh, drill bit, uh, and then uh, screwed it in. And that's a much, much more secure uh, action. So the the provided screws were utter rubbish, uh, and I've just used some servo screws for that. So that's one thing which I didn't like, but it's just a simple mod. Um, the main spar. So there is a great big carbon spar, as we worked out in the unboxing. There is a carbon spar which goes through the center of the model here. Uh, the holes which are in the wings are not long enough and you do need to squeeze the wings on. So just be aware of that when you are putting your model together is that you'll want to make sure and twist in the actual main spar into the wings and make sure it digs in about a quarter of an inch or maybe a little bit more either side because it does need it because the main spar is a touch too long. So just be aware of that one. That's that. I'd rather it be too long than too short, but it still needs to go down as a dislike. Uh, uh, oh yeah, and uh, crappy magnets for the dome, which we've mentioned about. Uh, one negative, uh, and it's only a minor one, which is that this front nose cone is held on with some fantastic magnets. And in fact, I'm just going to zoom in on this bit so you can see what I'm talking about. Can you see those magnets on here? So we've got one, two, three. Uh, they're absolutely fantastic, but you only get two spare magnets. So to be able to put on the other nose cones is that you've got to either stump up your own magnets, which is fine for me because I've got a load of more motor, mag motor magnets which I can use, uh, or you're going to have to cut them off the other nose cones. So if you wanted to have an interchangeable nose, you can't have that because you've only got two magnets uh, and you need a third magnet to hold the thing on securely. So it's a, a minor detail, I know, but that's the difference between a good kit, which this is, and an excellent kit. Uh, and yes, that is me nitpicking, but it's a thing of reality. Now, uh, I also want to make the point that I'm not perfect, and I've made a slight screw up. <laughs> is that what I'm going to do? I'll show you these. You, 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 um, you need to glue on these two little nodules for the bottom. Uh, and Matt glued on one of them the wrong way round. I don't know if you can see that on there, it's a bit on that face. Uh, I thought I'd share that one with you. Uh, each time now I will pick that model up and I think I glued that on the wrong way round. And the thing is I've been in use of that Yoohoo pour and it's stuck on there good and it won't come off. Well it will come off if I stick the knife down it but it will never be the same again. Hey ho. <laughs> so yeah, don't tell anybody about that one. Uh, yeah, a bit of a whoopsie on my part. Uh, right, let's get ourselves back onto the topic. Uh, one mod which I have done, and it's really, really simple, and uh, it's so simple I can guarantee that you can do it. Real acetate, all I've been and done 
is put some sellotape down the leading edges of the, the wing edges down here. And the reason why I've done that is because when this model lands on, and we land in really thick silage grass at the moment, uh, is that it won't damage the, the having a piece of sellotape along this front edge will save the uh, leading edge of the wing from any uh, just day-to-day -day usage damage, if that makes sense. Uh, and it's so simple to do, it takes nothing more than like five minutes tops to do both sides. Uh, I've also put some of that sellotape uh, down on the bottom, down on the skids, including the bent skid as well. As far as setup, now I've set this one up not for FPV, we're going to go out and get her, done for, uh, get her flying for a line of sight maiden first, which is always what I would personally suggest. And what I've done with this is that I've got Tower Pro MG90S servos. Remember, they're cheaper than the cheap Hobby King servos, and they've got metal gears in them. The motor is a bit of an oddity, okay? And the reason why I'm saying it's a bit of an oddity is because I've told you, and, and in, the, in the video description, so underneath this video, when you click on Show More, it will list uh, a Sunny Sky X22-16-1250 uh, kV motor, which is an absolute brilliant motor with an 8x6 propeller. The thing is, I don't have one spare right now, uh, and I've got two on order, and I'm hoping they're going to be with me by Friday. But I don't think, well, if they're not, what I've been and done is not hold back. I've got a little Turner G D2830, uh, 11 turn, uh, 1000 kV motor with an 8x6 prop on the back. So um, it's not the motor which I wanted. I was kind of hoping that the, the, the sunny skies would have turned up by now. Uh, and if you don't know about that motor and prop combo, uh, the Sunny Sky X22-16, 1250 kV and an 8x6 prop, the details, like I said, are in the video description for you. An absolute corking uh, motor and prop combo, to say the least. Run that with uh, 30 amp ESC for 3S, free, uh, for free 40 amp ESC for 4S, uh, and you'll get loads and loads of thrust, but you also get oodles of... Um, uh, flight time and flight efficiency with it because it will cruise like something like a mini talon uh, around on just four to five amps so a wing like this which weighs uh, actually a lot less uh, it's going to be even more efficient so yeah motor and prop combo inside i've gone for again it's all i've had uh, i'm just using the receivers which i've got or well, the receiver which i've got spare here at the moment I've got an L9R receiver which is complete overkill, again if you're maybe setting up a long range wing, the L9R from FR Sky, fantastic receiver, uh, if you look it up on YouTube, been proven for kilometres and kilometres. Uh, I've got the Hobby King 30 amp blue ESC, corking ESCs, I've got a link to those in the video description for you. Uh, and again, uh, there, there's no affiliate program with Hobby King uh, at the moment, and but I, 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 it's the, my go-to ESC, uh, 30 amps, absolutely brilliant. We actually, uh, one of the other models which I've got here actually pulls about 39 amps on full chat uh, on 4S, uh, and I use that ESC and it gets absolutely... <laughs> <laughs> I can't use that metaphor, it's a bit rude. Um, ragged is probably a better one every single flight uh, and it still comes down and it's still flying today. So those ESCs are really, really good. As far as FPV goes, now what I would actually like to do, and I'm not sure what I'm going to be able to get it done in time, is that when we've got this clear nose cone on the end, uh, is that you should be able to, well, I'll ensure that you can see, let me go and point this up so you can see what's going on. Let me go and zoom in. Go on, let's get in there, straight in there. Right, I don't know if you can see that piece of wood. In fact, I'm gonna stick, take the back off, I'm gonna stick my hand in. There, there's a piece of wood just there which you can use as a platform for your FPV camera. Uh, and what I would really like to do is have a little pan, maybe even a little tilt camera uh, in that section. And I think I can make it fit, but I'm not entirely sure. So no promises for the maiden, well, I'll have this one kitted out with FPV or not. If not, uh, to be honest, for FPV, again, I'm talking about pan and tilt in the nose, you don't have to go to that kind of level at all. Uh, you could very, very simply mount your FPV camera in the nose, uh, there's plenty of space in there. Remember, you've got a second one, so if you screw the first nose up, <laughs> and it's not so ugly, not too pretty anymore, you've always got a second one to get it right with. Uh, so you could put, just put the nose uh, camera straight on the nose. Uh, again, a little bit of extra nose weight in a wing is never going to do it any issues. Uh, you can mount it up here on the top tray. There are also two little bays either side 
uh, I, which I, I, I kind of wondered what they were for and I've, I've stuck them, they're not stuck down, they're only just poked in and I think they're going to come out. There's two little bays either side of the wing uh, which you could use for uh, your antennas, uh, so maybe I'll move the receiver up around this way uh, and then put your video transmitter on the opposite one. Uh, two nice little bays, really simple setup and again the magnets, if you listen out for how good the magnets are, super good magnets and they're really tough to get out, uh, there's no way that this lid is going to blow off and again that was one of my pet hates about what was it, the Falcon FPV wing which was a bloody good wing, good price but the lid blew off and it rendered it useless and I ended up giving it away to one of my flying buddies so yeah no chance in a blue moon of that happening so yeah that is the Sonic HD wing many of you may already know this by the Hobby King Sky Fun Sky no Sky Ray uh, which is apparently no longer being sold uh, it was also brought out by Ready Made AC uh, Ready Made RC as the Waco or Waco I don't know how you pronounce it to be honest uh, but yeah good news they've been able to out similar pricing looks like it's going to fly well they are known to fly really well I joked in the uh, unboxing video about Austin and his, it's still going, you should go in fact, go and have a look in the Facebook group, uh, uh, in the video description there's a link to the Facebook group, uh, go on there, you hit the join button, as soon as you join just go in there and search up Sonic uh, HD wing uh, and you'll see the photograph of, the, it's not even got the wings attached anymore, this top base just like broken off, the nose is uh, I don't I, I don't know, he's picked it a lot, put it that way, <laughs> it's just absolutely horrific and it's still flying, unbelievable, so uh, yeah, they're known to be good models, I'm really looking forward to flying this one in a day or two's time. Now if you have any questions about this wing, please just ask in the comments section underneath this video, remember keep in the back of your mind this model was bought out of my own money for my own abuses. Any and all links in the video description should be affiliate links, so if you use any of those, you will be supporting this channel. That means that we can get models like this, and we can give them a proper review. We can find out if they're any good, or if they're not any, like, up to scratch. And then again, that's why I've written down the things which I like and I dislike, because I dislike that we had crappy screws for the dome, but actually it was a simple fix. I, what else did I like? The main spar was too long, and it bugs me that we didn't have enough magnets for the uh, to do the uh, clear dome as well. Besides that, it's a good kit, straightforward. And I'm sure it's going to fly absolutely fine. So, if you'd like to hang around to see what the maiden's going to be like, don't forget to press the subscribe button underneath this video where it says Matthew Oldbourne. I'm Matt, by the way. Howdy. Uh, click on subscribe. Uh, that'll. Get and if you press the little bell icon, uh, is that YouTube will let you know the next time the next video is out, which in the next day or two will be this one and her maiden. So, with that said, from myself, Matt, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this episode, and I'll see you again shortly. Cheerios!